Take a picture you could never recreate Write a song, make a note For the love that sits inside Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of Bucket for Beginners. I'm going to go over methods in this tutorial. Um, but first, I just remembered after watching the last video that I forgot to show you guys the JDK. Now, the JDK is a Java development kit. You're going to need this to run Eclipse. So if you already knew that and you have Eclipse set up, feel free to skip about a minute ahead and you'll be fine. Um, if not, then watch this really quickly. I want you to type in Java JDK in Google. Now click on the first one, which is Java SE Downloads. Then click on Java Platform JDK right here at the top. Scroll down. And uh, if you're a Windows 32-bit, um, download the X6, X86. If you're a 64-bit, download Windows X64. Accept the license agreement. And then just click on whichever one corresponds to your um, operating system. After that, just do the normal next, 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 next bullcrap, and then you'll be all set up and good to go. Then go re-download Eclipse, and it should all work for you. So, methods. Actually, I need to do the uh, answers from the homework. So, I'm just getting a few things set up here. So, I asked you guys to make an integer named Cool Beans. It had the value of 46. So if yours look like that, then you are good to go. You have my blessing. I, it's virtual pat on the back. Good job. Also, I ask you to make a string named poop. And the string poop had the value of stinky. Like that. Now notice when you're naming variables, um, any besides the first word, any subsequent word in the variable has a capital. So um, it's cool capital beans and rice and chicken and Gatorade and aid and all that. That's just uh, how most people name it. If you want to be a really cool programmer like me, then that's how you got to do it. But if you want to do it your own way, and, and I mean, it's fine if you want, you just won't be as cool. So those are the answers. Now we're going to get into methods. Methods are, they're, they're a lot of fun. They're, um, they're the backbone of Java, basically. A uh, method is basically a function that does something. Now I'm going to relate this to math. Don't get scared. Um, to make to, So this can make some more sense. So basically, in math, you have the area function, which is area is equal to the length, assuming this is a rectangle, times the width. Now, when you do this, this function, you have your length or whatever that you plug in the length, you have your width that you plug in the width, it does stuff and then it returns this value of area. This is the same way that functions work. Now functions, I have, um, I have the example of it up here. Oops. Now if you'll notice, this is how you make a function. Uh, it's called or a, a method header. That the, uh, the method header is like the, the name and the parameters of the method. I'll explain parameters in a second. So first you have the visibility. For visibility you can have public, private, and uh, default which is just nothing. Like you put no modifier to it. So public means that any class and any body and any body can access the method. This means um, like all the methods that you are going to use that are from bucket, those are all public because they're written in the, the bucket code. You're going to import that into your plugin and then you're going to use those, uh, those methods. Now if they were to make them private, you couldn't use them because this is only in the class that the method is in. So if I make a method in the turtles class, I can only call it from this class, which is helpful because if you have methods that you don't want other people to use, but you still want to use them because it makes your life easier, you can make them private and then only use them in your code. So for this area met uh, method, we're going to make it public. Now next is static or non-static. Static, static um, 
it's just tough to explain. I'm going to have to go into this a little bit uh, later. When you make a class in Java, normally, because Java is an object-oriented programming language, which means you make objects out of your class. So, and you'll see how to do that later. Um, when you make something static, it means that you can't make an object out of it. It's, uh, it's only, there's just one. So if I made a static integer, uh, stupid integer, it had a value of five. Um, this integer, st the stupid integer, belongs to the turtle class and the class only. So if I go to turtles, oh, I can't because it's all junked up, but you could only access this for, um, by going through the, the turtles class. You couldn't make a new turtles object and it wouldn't have its own stupid integer. It would. There's only one. But don't worry about static for right now because to be honest, uh, you shouldn't be using static too much in your coding anyway. It's not good practice. Um, and it's, it's just, it, it can get messy. So we're going to keep it non-static. If you want it non-static, you just put nothing. So we took care of the visibility, took care of the static. Next is the return type. This is, um, there's basically two return types. There's either um, a variable type, which could be a string, it could be an int, it could be anything you want. Um, it could be a class, we could have a, we could return a turtles object. And you could also have, um, so we have variable, and we also have void. Void means that it doesn't return anything. It means that instead of, it's, it's almost like if, um, if this function area equals length times width, if this didn't give back area, if all this did is multiply length and width, and that's it, it was it, it's done. You had an, a rectangle with a length and a rectangle with a width, and you multiply these together, and and that's it. It it doesn't give you back anything. It just executes code. So we want the this area method to give back a number so we're going to have it return an integer and we're going to call it get area which is nice and simple because it's going to get the area of the parameters these right here are are just like the parameters i got i'm italian so i move with my hands i talk with my hands a lot and i got to remember that you guys can't see my hands i should get a webcam so i can do that but I keep talking like that, and you guys can't see. I have to move it with my mouse. Anyway, I'm I'm going on again. So, um, the the parameters of the method are just like this, just like the the length and the width we have here. So we're gonna pass in an integer. That's the length, and an integer. That is the width. Now this is the method header. It's done. That is your method right there. It's a public um, method, which means any class and anybody can access it. It's going to give you back an integer. This is the name of it. We have two parameters, so you're going to pass in a length, just like you would pass a length into here. And you're going to pass in a width. Now you're going to open up your curly braces. And this is where you're going to put all the juicy code for your get area method. Now, if you um, in math, let's say we have our we have our rectangle that has a length of five and a width of ten. Now, we, uh, when you plug these into this function, you're not actually giving like like if this length if the name of this is um my rectangle my rectangle length, and this is cool rectangle width you're not actually passing in my rectangle length you're just giving it the value you're just giving it 5 times 10 and then finding out what it equals that's the same thing for a method if I have a variable my rectangle I have an integer named my rectangle length and a integer named cool rectangle width and I want to find out what the area is I'm gonna need, need to get my semicolons um, if you pass these into this method, you're only passing in the value. That's very important. You're just giving it the values of those um, of those uh, variables. Sorry. So we're gonna create an integer called area that's equal to whatever we pass in for the length times 
whatever we pass in for the width. And then we are going to return. Here's that return statement that I was saying, because these you multiply these together and it returns an area. It gives you back an area, which is a number. So you want to return area. And that's it. That's our method. So when we call this, so if we were to go to, um, let's get rid of that. If we went to turtles dot, oh, well, because we, we need to, you would need to make a new turtles object, but we're not going to get into that. So if you were to call this method, it would ask you for an, one integer for the length and one for the width. And then it's going to take whatever you put in and it's going to put it into this integer and it's going to return that. It's going to spit that back out at you and give you that. And you can do whatever you want with it. I could do um, int my area is equal to, see, we're going to get the area of my rectangle length and my or cool rectangle width. So what this is doing is it's going to get the area. This is calling the method. Um, and it's going to give it the value of my rectangle length and cool rectangle width. It's going to store it's going to call this function. So it's going to plug this into plug this in a length, plug this in a width. So this is now 5. This is now 10. 5 times 10 is 50. Store that in area, return area. So it's going to give that back to you. So now this, all this stuff, is 50. It's, it's going to give you back as 50. So now my area is equal to 50. Okay. And that is, um, that's basically all you have to know about methods. Now I know I promised that we're going to go into a bucket, but this is something that I needed to get explained. So I could go into it now, but I'm going to just... I'm going to end this video and I'm going to immediately start recording the next one that where I'm going to go into the first steps of making a plugin which is the two methods where you enable the plugin and disable it. Um, so you need to know, you need to understand all this method crap to understand that. So and remember the purpose of this series is I like I want you guys to understand what you're doing and understand what you're coding instead of just um, saying type in public int get area int length int width and it's going to give you this like I remember I, I watched a few videos when I was first learning Java and that's how they explained it and it was too confusing for me I had to wait till I got into college and I had a professor that I could um, ask questions back and forth and thank God she was a fantastic professor and she went through it like this where she went through it very simply sometimes too much like I'm probably doing but it made more sense and I understood it and thanks to that I can now write all that juicy code so that's about it um, oh, let me just explain void really quick void just means that it has no return so if we add public void um, it wouldn't be we wouldn't be getting anything it would be, set, it would be like setting something so if we uh, we wanted to set rectangle uh, length or width, whatever you want. Um, new length. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to, this is doing something. It's not going to return anything, but it's still going to do something. It's going to execute code. So we're going to set my rectangle length to new length. So if I come up here, I just do set rectangle length to 50 it's now gonna sit what well, it, it wants me to it's not gonna it's not inside of any method so we can't call it here but um, what this would do is it would set my rectangle length to 50 it, it, it just does something it doesn't have any return type um, and that's that's about it if you guys have any questions on this stuff please feel free to add me on Skype my Skype is apple juice just like the the name of the channel, Apple Juice Programming. Um, add me on Skype. I'll answer any questions. I can video chat with you, or I can uh, voice chat with you guys. We can do Team Viewer, so I can show you how to do something if you're confused about it. Um, I'm doing this to help everyone out there learn this stuff. So I am here to help. So 
uh, let me give you your homework or test stuff, whatever. Um, feel free to do it or just go to the next video. It's up to you. Um, I want you to make a method that. Let me see. Make a method. Um, it's this is going to be a little test for you guys. It's going to be a private method. It's going to return a double. Remember that's a number with with um, decimals. It's going to be called add add, and the parameters of it is going to be a double called number one, and then another parameter that's a type of double called number two. And then I want you to return number one plus number two. So it's because it's adding them together. Number one plus number two. And you guys can execute that any way you want. Um, there's a few ways to do it actually and I'll show you them in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, leave any, uh, leave a comment if you think I'm going too slow or if you think, uh, if you have any questions, comment, do whatever. Thanks for watching guys.